Welcome to Smart Optometry. Please subscribe us and press the bell icon for our all tutorials. In this video, we will discuss about how to do retinoscopy in three simple steps. Those three simple steps are Step 1 Placing working distance power Step 2 Neutralize one meridian with spherical trial lens Step 3 Neutralized other meridian with cylinder trial lens. Now step 1. Placing working distance power. Place working distance power 1.5 diopter before patient eye. Here for this patient we are doing retinoscopy at 67 cm and that's why we are giving the working distance power 1.5 diopter as our first step. The distance between the eye and the retinoscope is called working distance and the dioptric value of working distance is called working distance power. The formula used to identify the working distance power is 100 divided by working distance in centimeter. Commonly used working distance is 67 centimeter or 1.5 diopter. Step 2 Neutralized one meridian with spherical trial lens. After giving working distance power, check the movement of reflex in both meridians, whether it is with movement or against movement. Here for this patient, after giving the working distance power, we can see in both meridian the movement is against movement. Now neutralize one meridian with plus spherical trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus spherical trial lens if reflex is against movement. Now we will neutralize one meridian with spherical trial lens. Let's try to neutralize horizontal meridian. So in horizontal meridian we are seeing this is against movement. So we will place minus spherical trial lens to neutralize it. Now let's start with minus 0.25. Now still it's against movement. So we have to increase the minus power. But we have to increase at a rate of minus 0.25. So let's increase minus 0.25. Still it's against. Again we have to increase. Still it's against movement. We have to increase more power. Still it's against. So we have to increase more power. Still it's against. Let's increase more. Still it's against. Still it's against. We have to increase the power. Now it's get neutralized. Here we have neutralized horizontal meridian with minus 2 diopter spherical trial lens. So minus 2 diopter spherical will be our spherical power. Now let's move to our third step to identify cylinder power. Now step 3. Neutralize other meridian with cylinder trial lens. Working distance power and spherical trial lens will remain there in trial frame. Now neutralize the other meridian with plus cylinder trial lens if reflex is with movement or with minus cylinder trial lens if reflex is against movement. Now we will neutralize the other meridian that is vertical meridian with cylinder trial lens. Now let's see the movement first. Here we can see this is against movement so we have to neutralize it with minus cylinder lens. Let's start with minus 0.25. Here you can see it's still against so we have to increase the power. It's still against. Let's increase more. Still against. Let's increase more. Now it's get neutralized. Here we have neutralized other meridian that is vertical meridian with minus one diopter cylinder trial lens with trial lens axis aligned with 90 degree. So minus one is our cylindrical power at 90 degree axis. Finally, our final refraction will be minus 2 diopter spherical and minus 1 diopter cylindrical at 90 degree axis.